Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything and we've got a long overdue video. I've had this box sitting in the warehouse for almost two weeks now and we're finally ready to crack it open and take a look at what's inside. Came to us straight from Johnson Plastics Plus. They sent a ton of goodies over and we're gonna check them all out. So don't go anywhere because we're getting started right now. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> Right off the bat, we're looking at a ton of different tumblers here and we'll get started. So let's crack these open, standard tumbler box. And it looks like we've got stainless steel up first. And that is a nice stainless steel right there. These ones you wanna pay extra close attention to because they could have tiny little scuffs and scratches. Generally, the colored ones are going to be a little more resistant to that because of the powder coating. But these you really wanna inspect. And this one looks really good. There's a couple really tiny little blemishes on it, but they're really, really small. I'd only notice that if I was being really picky. And I think this is customer ready. I'm good with it. I am a little bit concerned that there may be some kind of like film or finish on this. Uh, so we'll have to for science this and make sure we test this out on the laser before we get too crazy. But otherwise it looks good. Nice lids on these. Uh, it looks like they've got a little straw hole there. So you could use this with a straw or you could use it in the coffee cup fashion. So it's a nice lid there. There's a notable lack of any texturing or bumps on these. I know the Polar Camel's been putting grippy bumps on the bottoms. I'm not a big fan of that. I feel like it reduces your engraving area. And these are just nice and clean and straight. The taper isn't even really that bad, so they should be pretty easy to work with. So there's our steel cup. That looks pretty good. All right, guys, next up we have some basic colors. We've got our white and black. Let's take a look at those. So here's the white and black, guys, and uh, these look perfect. These are great. Uh, I have no concerns about these at all. The powder coat looks super even and uh, it's gonna be super easy to work with. That's powder coated tumblers, so no problems from me there. And then we've got our selection of colors. Let's get these out of the box right now. So we've got our navy blue, we've got our sea foam, we've got our royal blue, and everybody's favorite color, the red right there guys and uh, everything that i said about the black and white holds true for all of the colors here uh, the sea foam is probably pretty popular right now the navy is a classic uh, you can do just about any logo on this and it's going to look like it belongs there and the red and royal blue i think royal blue is my favorite that just really pops uh, but like i said uh, the powder coated ones are perfect there's no problem with the powder coated ones whatsoever. I am uh, just a little worried that you're not going to be able to do something like a Z mark on this uh, because I do think that it has some kind of film on there. I will test it just to make sure and uh, I will let you guys know whether or not you're going to be able to Z mark these tumblers. They should mark on a CO2 fine, but we will, uh, we will do a little experimentation just to make sure this is kosher. The rest of these, no problem. Uh, they all look really great. The colors are amazing. And uh, it's, a nice, it's a nice selection, really clean profile, and uh, there's not a lot going on, which is good. That means that there's space and room for you to be creative and show off your work, and that's what we want. We've got more to unbox here, so for now I'm just going to move these over to the edge of the table there, so they're nice and out of the way. And let's take a look at some of the rest of what we've got in here. Uh, right on the top, we have uh, a couple different things that are marked with Romark. And let's see what we've got. Color Shop Woods, Cardinal Color Woods, 12 inch by 12 inch by 1 8 inch. So these are all 1 8 inch thick. It says engrave this side. So they are pretty clear about which side they want you to engrave. Let's see what else we've got here. So this one here, uh, Sage Color Woods. So these are Cardinal Color Woods, Sage Color Woods right here. So this looks really cool. I'm already seeing, you can kind of see like a pop of color coming through the masking tape there. I'm really curious what this looks like. Normally I would leave this tape on until whatever I've needed to do with it is done. But in this instance, we really want to take a peek at what's going on under the hood here. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this up. Wow. Look at that. That is bright. Holy crap, guys. And again, I do have, uh, I have giant rolls of masking tape here, so I'll just remask this when I'm done checking it out. But wow, 
would you look at that? That is really, really bright. It's called Sage, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be a green. I just can't get over how bright that is. That's intense. I wonder if it's the same color on the other side. Uh, we'll check. If Sage is green, I'm assuming Cardinal is gonna be a red. So we'll take a look at that one in a second. But first, I wanna take a look at the back of this and see how it's different than the front. No, wow. For whatever reason, uh, they want you to engrave on this side. Again, I'm sure they have their reasons, but this is really beautiful as well. Unless there is some kind of layering trick to this. Uh, and again, we'll have to test it out. We'll see how this cuts and engraves. Um, maybe there is an A side versus B side difference that we are unaware of, but that is something we can take a closer look at. Before we get into that, guys, I do want to check out the Cardinal. So let's go ahead and rip off the Cardinal paper really quick so we can get a nice close look at the Cardinal color. And there's Cardinal, guys. Uh, that's really, it's just rich. Um, there's really rich tones out of this. It is wood. It's not plastic. Uh, despite being made by Romark, uh, this is wood. And it feels really good. It's None of it is warped particularly uh, badly. It's got just the tiniest little bend to it. But overall, um, I'm really happy with this. You can see this corner here kind of drifts just a little bit. But there's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Look at that color. That's incredible. That's incredible. And again, we'll just check the back here just to be sure. One thing that's nice about having the mask applied uh, at JP Plus is that it's, it's perfect every time. In order to get it on this well and this flat with no bubbles uh, in your own shop, while perfectly doable, can be time consuming. And uh, having it come from Johnson's Plastics this way is, uh, is very nice for sure. This is the B side. Again, you know, I'd say the stain sort of seems darker on that side. Is that true of the other one? Yeah, they're both a little bit brighter on the back and a little bit darker, a little more saturated on the front. That may be the only difference. Luckily, they sent me two pieces of each, so we still have one completely masked, which is great. So we'll be able to test it the way it was intended to be used. But for now, uh, as cool as these look, guys, there's more in the box and we have to move on. So again, I'm just gonna kind of set these aside and let's see what's next in the box. Uh, this one is labeled square slate table mat, and this one is also labeled square slate table mat. So we'll leave one in the box. We'll pull one out. Uh, looks like they bubble wrapped it, which is really nice. It's actually just the whole thing is incredibly well packaged, so we don't need to worry about it getting damaged in transit. And uh, if I were you, I would save this packaging uh, so you can use it if you have to ship this kind of product to a customer. Um, it's slate, guys. There's little foam feet on the bottom here. It is that kind of glossed slate. Uh, so if you are a fan of the glossed slate rather than like kind of the raw natural slate, this is gonna do great for you. I would assume that this is going to be the same, but we should definitely open it up and take a look just in case there is a difference. I don't think there will be. I am expecting this to be an identical piece of slate and that we just have two of them. But let's go ahead and open it up. Again, really nice packaging on these. Definitely save that. And there you go. A second piece of gloss slate, all four little foam or felt feet on the bottom. And those are really beautiful. So coming next out of the box, guys, some laser safe leatherette here. I would assume that this is polyurethane, really soft on the inside, if that's something that matters to you. The outside looks great. That's a pretty clean pattern. It looks like we've got a few other colors in the box here. And these are coming bagged, guys. So we do have nice bags for these to help protect them on their journey as well. And we've got a couple colors here. So it's definitely more of like a gray with the insides there. And then we've got two of the brown here uh, with the insides here. And those look really, really nice as well. It wouldn't be a good laser everything unboxing video in this beautiful new studio if we didn't try to work with some of this stuff, guys. So we've got the tumblers. We've got the color wood selections here. We've got the slate and uh, of course the leatherette. And I'm really excited to use all of it so we can take a look and see how it actually performs with a few test jobs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on guys. Uh, when I 
first recorded this video, I thought that testing was actually going to be really short. And I thought we were going to do just a few simple things to show that the material worked nicely. And I ended up shooting like 400 gigabytes of 4K footage. So what we're going to do instead of showing all of it right now and jamming it in is I'm actually going to run you guys through each material on every laser that we tested it with. So each material is going to have its own dedicated episode. And yeah, that means this episode is over. So I hope you enjoyed the first impressions that we got unboxing this stuff. And there's a lot more coming with these materials. Like I said, it's already filmed, so you won't be waiting a long time to see it. As soon as this edit is done, I'll be moving on to the material tests. And you guys will be able to hear a lot of my thoughts about how the material actually performs. Uh, spoilers, it works great for the most part. So I am prepping that for you now. But in the meantime, I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, please smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. If you really, really love the channel and you want us to continue making videos, please consider supporting us over at the LMA. It's the number one way to support the channel and there's a ton of people over there ready to help you out with any problems you might be having. We can help troubleshoot. We're doing exclusive live streams and we've got a bunch of other content over there for you to enjoy that you can't get anywhere else. So if you want to find out more about how you can support us, head over to Masters dot laser everything dot net and join us on the laser master academy we'd love to have you that's all i've got for this one thank you so much for watching we'll have those material tests out for you really soon and we will see you in the next one